What's up, everybody? It's your man, Brandon Brody, a.k.a. Brody the Joker. Welcome to Question Block, the interactive block of video game trivia for pro gamers. Today's episode, I'm proud to be joined with the returning competitor, the funny, the hilarious Ms. Candace Saunders. How are you doing? Good, good. How are you? Doing fantastic. I'm glad to have you back up in here again, you know, fighting for the uh, fighting for the big win this time. Mm-hmm. What do you think went wrong last time? Um... I just didn't play enough Tekken 4, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, last one was a fighting round. Uh, so uh, fighting her t- today, we have Mr. Richard Douglas Jones, who has Richard, Richard Douglas Jones, who has his game. Your game history goes back all the way to what, Atari 2600? Yes, sir. 2600. What's happening? What's happening? Yeah, uh, 2600 and uh, ColecoVision. I'm old as fuck. You are. <laughs> I, I can't compete with this guy. Man, we respect just, that though, but he may have forgotten we, some of it with age. You never know that. You never know. Who knows? <laughs> and weed, lots of weed, lots of. There you go. Lot of yeah, weed. That'll do it. All right, so uh, we're gonna flip a coin to see who goes first. After that, we're going two rounds of multiple choice with increasing difficulty. Correct answers will score you points. Make it to the final boss where you'll have a chance to wager your points and take home the W. And don't forget to use those power ups. Today we have the codec which will allow you to phone a friend, if you have a friend prepared to call. Uh, we have the Master Sword, which will allow you to cut uh, two of the incorrect answers off the board. So it's like a 50-50, you have one correct answer, one incorrect answer left. Uh, Navi, which basically lets you poll the audience. Today, we're gonna allow you to take a peek at the chat. So the chat, you know, if you guys are here, we need you to pull up, show up with our contestants because they might be looking to you for a shoulder to lean on. We got the Boo, which will allow you to steal a question. And then uh, we also have the one up, which will let you get at, which will allow you an extra guess on an incorrect answer. So you incorrectly guess the first time, you get to guess again. And lastly, we have the mushroom, the red mushroom, introducing the red mushroom, which will allow you to double your points for the next question. So with no further ado, uh, let's get to that, let's get to that coin flip. All right. So, uh... So we either got two logos. We got the All Def Gaming logo and the Question Block logo. So which one are we going with? All Def. Uh, all right. So going All Def. All right. Let her call. Death. Let her call. And it's a Question Block. There it is. So Richard, you first. <laughs> all right. Let's do it. Get ready. Let you go. Oh. See if I lost Brody for a quick second. Yep. All right. All Here right, we go, back. Bro. Yeah, yeah, I'm good now. I don't know what the hell happened, but uh, we good. So who who got who won that coin flip? <laughs> Richard won the coin flip. All right. Congratulations, All right. Richard. You get to go first. And with no further ado, today's episode, we're taking a trip down memory lane. Our stop is Y2K. And because it's a celebration of games from the year 2000, that's what we're going to be talking about. All games came out in the year 2000, this episode. So let's get it in. Question block. Richard, you are up first. It's a trivia question. Your question is, what was the name of the 2000 sequel that immediately Ooh. followed The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time? Was it A, Link's Awakening, B, Majora's Mask, C, Twilight Princess, or D, Magical Bootstraps? Give me one second. <laughs> but I'm going to go let him answer that while I get this set up again. Go ahead. Uh, uh, I'm going to go with B, Majora's Mask. B, Majora's Mask, Mask, final answer? Final answer. All right, and that's a point for you, Richard. That is correct. Yes, sir. All right. Give me one second, Brody. One yes, second. Indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yeah. All good. All good. Uh-huh. uh-huh. So, so uh, Richard, what's one of your favorite games uh, I guess of all time. Of all time? Ooh. Yes, uh I gotta go with The Last of Us, man. The Last of Us is basically to me is like a playable movie. It is it is really kind of stood the test of time considering it spanned two consoles and I've played it on both the PlayStation 3 and the PlayStation 4 repeatedly. Uh, I have friends of mine who have come over just to watch me play the game. Like, it was so interesting. Like, the story was so rich. The characters were, were really well fleshed out. It, the, the narrative is great. The gameplay is great. The stealth elements are great. 
it's again it to me the last of us is one of the greatest games ever made see okay. you know what I, I think the last of us could have easily been the story of fubu you know what i mean they, they have missed an opportunity right there it could have been the last <laughs> of for us by us and, and the rise and fall of fubu uh clothing line <laughs> all, right. all right we're ready to go brody let's do it all right cool so just pick it right up all right yep. cool uh Candace. All right, uh, Richard has a, a point on the board. Candice, it's your question. All right. Okay. Agent 47 is is the protagonist of this stealth game that debuted in 2000. Was it A, Hitman, B, Metal Gear Solid, C, shh, The Baby Sleep 2, or D, The World Is Not Enough? Uh, I'm going to go with A, uh, Hitman. All right. A, Hitman, final answer? Final answer. And that's the correct answer. You got a point on the board, Candace. Let's go. All right. Next question is coming at you, Richard. It's an image question. All right. Uh, you may recognize the Plum Bob when playing this title from 2000. A, Sonic Adventure. B, The Sims. C, The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Or D, Family Jewels. Uh, that is B, The Sims. Although I want it to be Family Jewels. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and B, The Sims, that is correct. You get another point on the board right there. <laughs> Perfect. So now, Candace, this one's coming to you. It's another image question. What is the name of this 2000 Dreamcast title? A, Tony Hawk's Underground, B, Crazy Taxi, C, Jet Set Radio, or D, Skate or Die? Hold on, I gotta make it bigger. Make glasses. Yeah, there you go. I do. Have you played any of these games, by the way? I have. All right. I'm going to go with D, Skate or Die. D, Skate or Die, final answer? Final answer. All right. And, oh, so sorry, Candace. No, it's wrong. It's what? It's Jet what is Set it? Radio. Jet Set Radio. Jet Set Radio, yeah. That's the it one was... game I didn't play. Yeah, yeah. They had Jet Grind Radio, Jet Set Radio. You know, uh, they, depending they on what they have Jet Set Radio like. Future. Oh, yes. I didn't know that one. They I did. I so. heard of them. I just like I. Yeah. Dang. I had to pay for prom, you know. Yeah, and no, I understand. You couldn't waste your time on uh, skating and graffiti games. That's that. That makes complete sense. I get that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this next question is coming right back at you, Richard. Um, the score is still tied right now, and this one is going to be a music a music question. I'd like you to name the two thousands fighter. Where you may hear this track. So we're gonna play the track and you're gonna to have to guess where you, you heard that from. All right, is that A Mortal Kombat 4? I didn't hear it. Okay. Get a little louder. Oh yeah, okay, I heard it. <laughs> okay. So is it A Mortal Kombat 4? B Capcom versus SNK Millennium Fight 2000 Pro? C Street Fighter Third Strike or D Marvel versus Capcom 2. It's Marvel versus Capcom all day, baby. Select your fighter. All right. Final answer. <laughs> Final answer. That's the correct answer right there. That was definitely Marvel versus Capcom 2. And answer B, Capcom versus SNK Millennium Fight 2000 Pro is the name of an actual game. So they need to shorten these game names. I swear to God. All right, Candace, this one's coming to choose another music sound effects question. Name the game where you may hear this track. One second, Brody. Mm-hmm. Uh, which one was second on this list for me? All right. Okay. And, yep, I got it. Let's do it. Can you play it a little louder? Yep. Go ahead and play it turn up for you a little bit. There we go. Uh, so the A Spider Man, PlayStation, B Resident Evil Code Veronica, C Diablo 2, or D Thief 2. Can I use the uh will you take away two? Yeah. Go ahead, you go ahead and run that master sword for her, Kadeem. Mm-hmm. Go and get that master sword set up for you. Hold on, let's get that running for you. Another get song. My, I need my man Link in there. Good old. Man. All right. 
Hold on for me. Here we go. Do, do you think you know which one it is? And All right. I'm going to do. I'm going to use. Yeah. yeah, I got you. I got you. All right. We're going to go here and there. Let's do it. All right. So you got those two left. So you, you got B and C left. You got Resident Evil Call Veronica and you got Diablo 2. Hmm. Have you played any of these games either? Yes. Oh yes. So I said I was like in high school. This is like twenty years ago, but yeah, I did. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go with Diablo two. All right, Diablo oh. two. Final answer. Final answer. All right, and that's correct. You just put another another point on the board, Candace. So there you go. Going into round two, score is three to two. Richard's in the lead right now, and because Richard began, Candace, you're gonna go ahead and start this round up and. First huh? question is coming at you. Okay. Right. Let's do it. All right. Joanna Dark is the protagonist to which 2000s N64 title that takes place in the year 2023? Was it A, Lunar 2, Eternal Blue Complete? Was it B, Vampire the Masquerade Redemption? C, Perfect Dark? Or D, D2? I'm going to go with C. All right, C, Perfect Dark, final answer? Yes. And that's the correct answer right there. You put another point on the board, tied up right now. That's Richard, wrong. this next trivia question is for you. Uh, Dave Mira had a game that released in 2000 which featured which extreme sport? A, skateboarding, B, snowboarding, C, BMX, or D, parkour? I'm going to go with C, BMX. C, BMX, final answer? Final answer. That's another correct one right there. Four to three. Okay, okay. Here we are. So, we so go. I, I just want to go and put this. Up. I mean, only parkour game. I guess we got is Mirror's Edge, right? Like that's it. Yep, that's it. That's it. That's pretty much it. Okay, I just want to make sure. I think I'm the only one on there. Mirror's Edge. Yeah, but I not to be confused with Dave Mirror, right? No, not yeah, not at all. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's it's confusing. Wow. Okay. So this next question is uh, coming at you, Candace. It's another image question. What game will you see this load screen that was released in 2000? A, it's Showtime. B, Punch Out 64. C, Ready to Rumble Round 2. Or D, Fight Night 2K1. I'm going to say D. D, Fight Night 2K1, final answer? Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. Right. And, oh, I'm so sorry, Candace. Oh, it's actually uh, D. Ready to rumble round two. That's ah, your boy, Afro okay. Thunder. Yeah, but it's like Afro Thunder and Michael Jackson. Oh, yeah, yeah, Michael Jackson, need, playable characters. When I play this game, uh, yes. Yeah, you're right. You're right. No, I thought, playable I thought characters. Mm -hmm. All right, we still up on the board. You still got some points, so that's good. And Richard, this next question is coming at you. You go. I need you to go ahead and name the athlete that was featured on the cover of NFL 2K1 shown here. A. Ray Lewis. B. Randy Moss. C, Brett Favre, or D, Brian Urlacher? Uh, I believe that is B, Randy Moss. All right, final Brian answer. Moss, okay, and that is correct. That That's is amazing. Randy Moss. That is indeed Randy Moss. Okay, and don't forget you got those power-ups. So, you know, if you want to go ahead and use one of those power-ups, this will be <laughs> the time to use it on these last two questions. Um, right. So right now this is a music sound effects question, and it's for Candice. What 2000 RPG does this opening come from? Oof. Let's go ahead and run that, Kadeem. What other, uh, can I ask the audience? Yeah, you take a look at the uh, the chat right now. So chat's going right now. Chat, go help and put submit your answer right now so Candace can take a look. I think Won't I you? know, but I'm. So the, your options are A, Final Fantasy IX, B, Final Fantasy VII, C, Chrono Cross, or D, Paper Mario. What's the chat saying right now? Uh, we, got a, we, got, we got some Cs. We got some, some Cs, Cs. okay. That's what I thought. Yeah. 
We have some C's in the chat. Is that okay. Final Fantasy VI? No, hold on. So C's are uh, Chrono Cross? Yeah, C's Chrono Cross. That is correct. Okay. C. That's correct. Final answer? Okay. Yeah. And that is correct. It is, in fact, Chrono Cross. You just put another point on the board, Candice. Okay. Bringing you right. four points. Richard up there with five. And Richard, this is your final question right now, which is a music sound effect question. I'm going to need you to name the musical game that this opening comes from. Hmm. All right. I think I know what it is, but I'm going to use the master sword. Okay. Good, good call. You go ahead and uh, cut away two of the incorrect answers. All right, all right, getting two of them out of the way right now. We'll get Link up in here to do his job. Yeah, about to get him right now. Let me go That's ahead and talking about. this. You know, yeah, we appreciate Link and all the hard work he does for Question Block. Thank you, Link. You know, the man, he, he, he works hard, he does work he hard, works, works real hard. He doesn't get paid, but that's okay. Um, I mean, he gets paid in rupees. That's that's true. That's true. He doesn't know that he can't use that currency here. But nonetheless, uh, what answers do we have left on the board? We got A and C. We got A and Samba C. De so Samba de Amigo, Amigo and uh -huh. Rhythm Heaven. Uh, I'm gonna go with A. All right, A Samba de Amigo. Final answer. Final answer. And that's the correct answer right there. Okay. All right. So there you have it. I don't remember it up to heard of that game. Wow. Okay. You remember yeah, that one? Was... No, no very not at all. Yeah, it had, it had a run for like maybe a year. I think it came with some drums too, or some maracas. Yeah, like uh, yeah. Donkey Konga. It came with yeah. the, the drums, but yeah, no, I never played it. But yeah, mm -hmm. pretty sure it was a monkey. I'm pretty sure the main person was a monkey. I'm pretty sure the main. Yeah, person. he was definitely a monkey with a sombrero. Yes, <laughs> like yeah, the Xbox. Yeah, it was like the Xbox answer to it. Yeah, yeah. They 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 wanted that guy to be somebody. I don't know what Samba de Amigo is, is doing nowadays, but I hope he's good. I think they pushed his side. I I wish like Viva, Viva, like Viva, like, like uh, Pinata. I think they both yeah. came around at the same time. I wouldn't be surprised. I saw the Pinata game. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, without, oh. without uh, further ado, that brings us to the final boss round. Oh, oh. Yeah. So right now we're gonna let you guys wager in because we are gonna be. You guys are gonna have to answer a trivia question. So wager your points right now. How many you want? Because Right now, Richard, you're in the lead with five points, so you could bring that to a total of ten. Candace, you wager at all, you could bring yourself to a total of six, but beating Richard if he doesn't wager any points at all. Uh, I'm going to wager four points. Four points, okay. And uh, so you have the potential of going to one or going up to nine points. All nope, right. Up and, to two. I have six points. Oh, oh okay. Up to, uh, six points. My bad. Or down to two. Sorry. Yep, that's right. That's right. I'm, I'm looking at the wrong screen. Okay. Six to four. All right. And Candace, how many points would you like to wager? Well, if I wager four, I'd only be at eight, right? You'd be at eight. Yep. Yeah. But you'd still beat him if he uh, if he miss wait if doesn't wager properly, or if he uh, does not get them correct. I mean. Oh, God. I'm going to go with four and hope I don't lose to a man again. There it is. Okay, so she's going all in. I love it. I love all it. in. Okay. 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 So, anyway, let's, let's see. Boy. So Okay, so to make this work, obviously, here comes the question we're going to put up on the screen right now. So, Brody, what I think the best way of doing this, there is a, there's a little chat feature on the, uh, on, the, on the website you guys are on right now. I want you to type in your answers, and then we're going to tell y'all when to hit enter. Perfect. Sound yes. Type yeah. them in, but don't press enter until we say so. That's perfect. That's how we'll do this. All, All right. right. So we're the question the is, question. I need you guys to name five games that were released in the year 2000. Many were mentioned in this episode. So if you name five games that were released in the year 2000, you'll be taking home that glory. And well, I think I think it's probably do we give us we give him a timer on Where's this? Where's the chat button? Because I this is different. Let's give him let's give him two minutes. Uh, two minutes? Okay. Do you see the chat button on there, Candace? One second. Title, title Okay. I see it. Okay. okay. Perfect. Just Alright, I'll go ahead and turn this on while we're doing this. Uh mm-hmm. 
So meanwhile, chat, feel free to name five games that you know for a fact were developed in the year or that came out in the year 2000. See how much you guys have been paying attention. Yeah. Again, a lot of them were mentioned in this episode. Most of the answers were actual games that came out in the year 2000. What a good year, man. Yeah, but it was a great year. I just... 2000 was a great year because we thought we were going to die. You know, they were, they were talking about Y2K. We were terrified uh -huh. that our computers were going to grow legs and beat our ass. You know, a lot of things like that. So yeah. go ahead and uh, wait to press enter on your, your responses. Just put them all in the chat. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to think what I was doing. I mean, obviously, I was really into basketball at the time. You know what I mean? Lakers were unstoppable at this time. You know, Lakers were unstoppable. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We had we had Shaq at that time. Uh, mm -hmm. Played a lot of Super Nintendo. Little Super Nintendo was good. It was. I mean, it already was on its way out in 2000. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We were playing 64 for the most part, and yes, PlayStation. Just together with me, because uh, like it just 2000, 2001, uh, 2000. Give y'all another minute. Let's go to another minute. Okay. Perfect. How's the chat doing? Oh, the chat's going in. We already used that. So put them all together in like one. Yeah, put them all together in one thing, and then uh, I'll, I'll tell you guys when to press enter, and we'll review your answers and see who's going to get those points. Yeah, so nine, I, was, I was eight. I, was, I mean, I won't put your age out there, bro. I was like eight at that time. So you eight, eight years old? Okay. I'll, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember I was old enough was to watch. I was old and young enough to watch the really old Hawaii in the year 2000. No. Yeah, Sabrina says in the chat, I thought Halo, but that was 2001. <laughs> yeah. Close. Halo was 2001. Let's go here. All right, we got 30 seconds, y'all. 30 seconds. Oh, Patrick Cordy put some good answers. Uh huh. Easy way to go. Yep. Yep. That's a great way to answer. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's funny. I can't even. Patrick, I can't be mad at you know. that, Patrick. I can't even be mad. Yeah. Like you slipped that in. I'm like, you know what? You you win. Venus is right too. That's absolutely right. And three, two, one. That is it. All right. Go ahead and press enter, both you guys. We press send now. Yep. Oh, okay. So, so who? Yeah, press send. If you know, haven't already. Okay, cool. So, Candace, we have your answers first, I believe. Uh, starting with Parappa the Rapper, which, uh, yes, I believe. What, what year was that? Let's check the Parappa the Rapper. Let's, let's make sure we're right. I, I, I think it was Parappa. I could have thought it was a little bit. Before. Parappa, the year 2000. Uh, and 96. Parappa, 96, okay. Ah. Uh, GTA 3. Let's see when that came out. GTA 3. Mm hmm. GTA 3. Let's see. Dude, 2001. 2001. Ah! Really, really close. Really close. Uh, Devil May Cry. Let's check that one. That was actually the year. Uh, when was Devil May Cry? Devil May Cry. Devil May Cry. Let's see. What year was that? Because uh, that might be the one. Let's see. Uh, Devil May Cry. Uh, when did Devil May Cry come out? Hold on. Let me look. Oh, oh, 2001. Fuck. This is a year off on everything is what it feels like. Oh, it, it, it runs together. 99 yeah. and 2001, I don't know. Yeah, it's I, a blur. I love I you said it. the game with the sombrero. By the time I got money to buy them, it was a year later, so I don't know. <laughs> wow. that makes sense. The game with the sombrero, I'm guessing you're uh, speaking of Samba de Amigo? Yeah. Yes, that was correct. Yes, indeed. And then Resident Evil... Resident Evil actually came out in... Uh, not the original. Not the original Which Code one? Veronica? That, the, yeah, I can't, you know how there was so many. Yeah, yeah. Well, if you're, if you're referring to Code Veronica, then That's yes, that, came, then that came out. And I, I'll give you some credit for that one. Okay. And Richard, Richard down here, um, he stuck to the episode for the most part. Perfect Dark, yes, 2000. Samba de Amigo, yes, 2000. Resident Evil Code Veronica, yes, 2000. Ready to Rumble 2. Uh, that's 2000. Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Um, yes, that's 2000. And Majora's Mask, Banjo Kazooie. So you're actually wrong with Banjo Kazooie. It was Banjo Tooie that came out in the year 2000. Ah. So disregard everything you just did because you, you gave more than five and you gave one wrong. So Candace, no, I'm kidding. You, uh, your wager actually, you got your four points. Richard, that takes you to 10 points. And Candace, that takes you down to zero, unfortunately. 
And with that, we have... I will our, be the man. It'll happen. With that, we have our new winner with a score a total of 10 points. The winner is Richard. All right. Well, there you Thank go, Richard. You. Yay. Yeah, all stuff I didn't know because I'm, um, yeah. yeah. Well, you know what? You fought hard again. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not like you're getting wiped clean because I've seen it. There's been situations where there's been one point on the board the whole game. So, <laughs> feel good about yourself. <laughs> and we took you back to 2000. So, who remembers anything from last week, truthfully? At, yeah, right. at this point in our lives. Well, I want to give a special shout out to both our contestants today. Make sure you follow them on their socials. Uh, Candace, go ahead and shout your socials out. I'm at Candy Doesn't Care, all K's where there should be C's, one word, uh, on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. And anything you got coming up, Candace? I got a lot of stuff coming up. Um, oh, hell yeah. This Friday, uh, I'm doing Fa Hilarious. Fa Hilarious. It's a uh, Fa and Laughs. Um, that's in Ellicott City at Viet Pearl. Yeah, yeah. Uh, next weekend, I'm at the Grand Ballroom with Shang, the comedian. Okay, uh, nice. Shang, uh, Forbes, uh, the 16th to the 17th. Um, yeah, there's a lot. So yep. catch me on those two shows. Come through. Thanks, Thanks again for playing. Uh, Richard, what you got coming up? And also share your socials. Uh, you can find me on all platforms at R. Douglas Jones. My award-winning podcast, Black Nerd Power, uh, has new episodes coming out every week. Uh, let's see. Uh, in September, you can catch me at the uh, Laughing Skull in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, let's see. Uh, in October, you can catch me at the Altercation Comedy Festival. Uh, before that, you can catch me at the Comedy Junt, uh, August, uh, July, uh, yeah, Jesus, next weekend, July, uh, yeah, next weekend, the, the 16th at the Comedy Junt in Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, I don't know anything else. Yeah. Just check on my Instagram and Twitter. I'll tell you where I'm, where I'm going to be. Great. And I also got to show some love to my super producer, the game genie, AKA Zordon himself, Kadeem. Thomas Kadeem, shout your socials out. Tell them where they can find you. What you got coming up? I mean, y'all can follow me at Cathadius uh, on Twitch, on IG. Uh, obviously, keep it locked in with all Dev Gaming. We got a lot of new content uh, coming in uh, and recording actually as of today. So a lot of stuff is on on the works on this side. So again, appreciate everyone watching, and uh, we'll see you next. See you about what two weeks, Brody? Uh, yeah, two weeks. And uh, yeah, yeah, thank you guys so much. Once again, I'm Brody, aka Brody the Joker. Thank you guys for watching question block let us know what you want to see on future episodes in the comments below make sure you check the notification bell so you can know when another episode's coming on make sure you follow uh and subscribe to the new app all death gaming app and uh if you guys are in la july 18th come to the laugh factory chocolate sundays you'll get to catch me uh doing my thing as well you know we got a whole lot we this is a little nice cluster of gamers nerds comedians right here all black i love this right here so thank you guys once again in the chat couldn't have done this without you guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your week. I love you. This has been Question Block. Peace.